Say hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Hi, Kira. Hello, Kira. Say hi, Hello, Brady. Hi, Kira. Hi, Brady. Hi, Kira. Hi, Brady. Hi, Kira. Uh, ben, it's Santa Teresa today. You've got a morning session. How how much can you do for kids in that period of time? Uh, yeah, we've got a session at clinic today um, from 11 till 3. Um, we've kind of broke it up into two parts. The first uh, morning session is more of fundamentals, teaching the kids at the pro proper shooting technique, passing, dribbling, all the fundamentals of basketball. And then in the second half of the uh, clinic in the afternoon, we're just going to make it a lot of fun, a lot of games. We've brought up uh, five boxes of merchandise to give out to the kids. So everyone's going to get um, a lot of prizes and just have a great day. And we've got a, a nice lunch put on by the, the school there. Uh, for the kids, so it's just going to be a lot of fun and hopefully kids them a few skills of basketball that they can go away and practice by themselves and maybe make this an annual thing and see their improvement um, from year to year and maybe, you never know, some, some kids might come out and be playing WNBL or NBL from Santa Teresa, so that would be fantastic. Uh, when I went home after the season, um, back to Adelaide, I uh, talked to mum about um, her experience here and she said there's so many young, talented, athletic, uh, indigenous kids and they just don't have much guidance uh, with their sport. So I thought, uh, what better time to come up to a remote Aboriginal community while my mum is working here and uh, give something back to the kids in the sport and set up a, a one day clinic and, and yeah, it just it started off as a small idea and with your help Steve and Timmy and Mum and Tess it turned into reality and uh, all the sponsors were very lucky, uh, Sporting and One, Rebel Sport, um, DB Graphics have donated a lot of prizes and the kids were really happy they got at least a couple of items each, some full uniforms, <laughs> one kid got four caps. Um, so yeah, it just turned out to be a wonderful day and they really enjoyed it and hopefully now we can turn it into an annual event. Well, I'm teaching at the local school in Ginger Porter. Um, so it's got about 150 children um, and it's really enjoying it. I teach five year olds and I'm here for two years. The game was awesome, it was just so much fun. Um, you know, you, you're working with, um, uh, as you said before, a different culture and you know, how they you know, go about things and structure things is very different and I just found myself just losing myself in the moment and uh, I think as everyone did, and it was just so much fun, I just had so much raw energy and uh, so excited about sport and, and what it can be and I just think it's such a uh, powerful medium for, for these kids and you know for us to be involved in it was just really special you know running up and down the sidelines by fives you know kids coming out uh, they had unbelievable touch uh, the shooting of some of these kids was uh, the all of us all their eyes popped out of their head and they come down and uh, just did the scrimmage and thought we we're going to give them a little hand and then bang five shots in a row and you know <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot of fun I think Benny had the shooting and said he was uh, Give her a little technique, and then next thing you know, bang, 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 and I was hitting shots everywhere. So it was, uh, it was just fun. It was more than more energy. I mean, the basketball was you know, so. yeah. um, I just wanted to warm the kids up to basketball before the Sydney Kings crew got in. So I just ran some um, sports lessons on basketball, just basic drills, and had a bit of fun with them just to get them all excited about basketball and the Kings. Uh, most of the kids in the community came out. Uh, like Mum said, we, we uh, had a little separate clinic for the little kids this morning and they were pretty exhausted after about one hour. So they went home and had a nap and then the other kids came in. But yeah, it was a wonderful day. All the kids were so uh, welcoming and friendly, a lot of hugs. Um, yeah, they just, they were willing to share stories. I, I told them that we're going on to Ayers Rock as a family tomorrow. And uh, they started telling us stories about um, the rainbow snake. So um, yeah, once in a lifetime opportunity and uh, we all had a great time.